morning everyone how are you it's quite early this morning well, when i say early it's half eight i'm tired <laughs> john just left like he's not that long gone and i felt him like give me a kiss on the head before he left and then i kind of like woke up but he was gone already I thought i'd be in tons of pain because obviously last night was like the first night that i've worked out in a while I'd say the last time I was at the gym was probably about six weeks ago. I do feel really, really good afterwards. I'm just gonna sit down here. John went running last night, and then obviously I went to the gym with Neve. So it was like both of us were out pretty late. Like we didn't get home till late, but he made dinner last night, and I was like so impressed. I think I might go to the gym tonight again because I'm not feeling too kind of like stiff or in pain. Oh god, I was gonna yawn there. The candle that Neve got me is this one here, isn't it? It's just so nice. It's just so thoughtful. A little wax candle made in Ireland. Um, the, from Brooke and Shoals, and this is Neroli Blossom and Lavender. And so appreciative of that. Even when I brought that home last night, and John was like, Oh my god, that's so sweet! Like a little housewarming gift he thought it was really really cute so thank you so much neve i really appreciate the candle i love getting presents <laughs> i love it so much today i'm getting my nails done so i'm gonna get this nail fixed thank god because as you would have known i sliced that one off you can see kind of like the wound it's actually healing up pretty well i'm surprised it knitted together quite well i thought it might have needed like a butterfly stitch or something but no i don't need anything on it it's actually done its own job the body has healed itself so i'm really happy with that i'm gonna make coffee now because like i said coffee is essential and i'm loving reading through you guys comments lately like you send me like the most fun comments ever i was getting like really fun comments like about nutrition and like fun comments about like different things actually i do want to kind of answer one question here i did respond to the girl who actually asked me this question but i just i'm kind of curious um, I got one of my subscribers asked me about getting gel nails and she was like, I really want to get gel nails. Are they sore? Let's move out of the kitchen. It's a bit noisy in there. Yeah, one of my subscribers was like, are your nails gel or acrylic? And she was like, I really like the look of them. But she was like, I heard that gel nails are really, really, really sore. Like some people compare them to labor. I would imagine labor to be like period cramps times 100, not getting your nails done. Uh, my nails don't ever hurt like they never ever ever hurt they're just filed and nails are made of keratin so that they don't and they don't have any nerve endings so it, it never really hurts i think it would only ever really hurt if you had really thin nails like the actual nail itself was thin because you know obviously the uv lamps and stuff and the gel might sting a little bit but i couldn't imagine it being like even in the worst case scenarios more than like a sting but like to compare it to labor whoever said that to you was just trying to frighten you don't worry nails are not they're not sore at all to get and i get them every three weeks so i'm feeling much better now after my coffee i'm feeling like i'm back to life now i'm just reading through comments from yesterday's vlog and some of you guys are just the sweetest and you said you love like the cooking segment the dinner segment in my vlogs like i try and do them as many times in the week as i possibly can and loads of you were like i'd love to like know more recipes and stuff guys i'm not really like great at the old cooking i can only do a certain amount of meals but i do try and i'm always trying to research new meals if you guys know anywhere that you can get like like if you guys know any blogs or any youtube channels or something that gives like really good tips or really good recipes or something like send them up my way please because i love to kind of like try out new things and i really like to experiment when it comes to dinner i'm not great with the old i was talking about breakfast yesterday i'm not great with like experimenting with breakfast i just know porridge works for me and weedabix and they're kind of what i stick with but definitely when it comes to dinners i like to get out of my comfort zone especially because breakfast and lunch are my meals that i take care of myself with i know i know it sounds silly but i make my own lunch and my own dinner every day and john does be at work except for when he's off at the weekend then we'll just like cook something really basic but dinner is a meal that i prepare for the two of us so it's good to kind of have a bit of variety like to be honest i would be happy enough eating like pasta most evenings but i get like you need to 
make a bit of variety and especially with John and I like that he he's very like fit and he exercises quite a lot so his appetite is massive I've never come across a human <laughs> that has such a massive appetite so trying to feed him is like a challenge and a half like I usually make a dinner for four people for the two of us so I'll have my portion and he has like nearly like two portions or like a portion and a half and then he'll take a portion and a half with him to work the next day I hope that makes sense so I'd usually be making dinner for like it looks like an army but it's just that like he eats so much like he's really like he really eats a lot so if you guys have any tips on like good recipes to follow or like helpful things that I could include for dinners I'd love to be sent those and I just read a comment from a lovely subscriber like she was talking literally about like the essentialness the essen essentialness that's not right the necessity of having a washing machine and um, her name is T Clary I'm sorry I hope I'm not like call her out on this rant that she was just talking about like how important like having a washing machine is and how important like having a rainy day fun day is and I totally agree with her it's so yeah I totally agree with it. the rainy day fund is essential because you just never know but she said that she really likes uh, my vlogs and the tips and the hauls that I do and that they really help her she said she's officially adulting yeah I'm I'm trying to adult I think I am an adult most days but then some days I'm like oh wow I just can't be bothered like how were my parents so organized at my age and I'm still kind of like figuring my way through this life <laughs> but it's just really funny I love reading like you guys comments and like how we're all struggling with the adult life <laughs> Great hello, hello, hello. I just have to put makeup on and now I have to take it all off again because I have to film a tutorial. I don't know what way I did my lip liner. It looks outrageous. What the hell's going on here? I had to take an outfit look, this outfit that I'm wearing, for pretty little things for my Instagram. So I really only needed like from here down. But I put makeup everywhere. I can taken all of this off. The, I don't know what I've done to my face. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I had to take an Instagram picture. I am lagging on Instagram. I suck at Instagram lately, but I'm gonna get back into it. I feel like I neglected so many people over there. It's just, I feel, to be honest, with Instagram and stuff, um, like I never know what to post anymore. I have no idea what to post because when I was doing constant video, makeup tutorials etc i used to always post the, the makeup i actually can't take myself seriously i have to take off this makeup now that's so much better the issue was i had lip liner on and concealer on and it just looks really weird together and i didn't take off my mascara and my brow products i said i would leave them on yeah i just put concealer on as well so it just wasn't looking right instagram and me it's not like i don't like instagram anymore i love instagram i really really do but i just don't know what to be posting on instagram anymore because like I said like makeup and stuff like my makeup channel I've just taken a hiatus from it for a little while just for no particular reason other than I feel like a little bit uninspired I'm not crazy about the makeup that's come out lately I don't really know what to be posting there anymore and I will get back to it I keep saying that but it just it will happen I know it will and then as well as that like filming area and stuff was kind of bothering me but now that's kind of like sorted I've no excuses so I just need to just bite the bullet get back in get a routine and stuff and start uploading there again I have nobody to blame but myself I just think like vlogging has become like so much nicer and I'm real comfortable vlogging and wow fix that bro I'm just much more comfortable vlogging I find it more natural I find it like less like production and more kind of like just chit chat and stuff but I love makeup and I'm never gonna not love makeup so I really want to do get back I really want to do I do really want to get back there so ugh, it's just I need that kick up my ass to get myself into gear to going back to filming regular beauty videos and you know as well as that like all my makeup is still over in my home house I never took it with me when I came when I moved here and I left the rest of it in storage but I think like Instagram I could do like outfit looks because like with clothes that I wear on a day-to-day -day basis that might be interesting maybe I don't know you guys help me I'd love to get your feedback on the Instagram beauty channel thing I'm actually in my bedroom now because I decided that I better try on the dress I only tried it on one time 
Um, I just wanted to try it on with the shoes and stuff to make sure it matches. I never tried the shoes on or anything with it. So the wedding's in two days, so I thought I would try it on and show you guys. But it's so nice on. I have no bra on. And I don't actually think I need a bra. I'll show you guys what it looks like now, but it looks really nice. This is what the dress looks like. It looks very dark, like far away. But then obviously if you see it up close... Well, that's not really showing it up blue, but anyway, it is blue and it's like looks dark So it looks kind of black, but that's what it looks like and there's the back of it Oh, hang on. Just a straight and the model that was wearing this dress when I saw it on the website Was like five foot nine. I'm only five foot four So it's like a little bit of a longer dress for me But I really like it and it's quite fitted and it's like there's still a bit of movement in it because it's like a wrap dress I know that I'm gonna be eating tons at a wedding and I wanted something with a bit of room in it, but it is really nice. Yeah, let me know what you guys think of this dress. I think it's really pretty. I really like it. And I think it's quite formal, but still, you're going to a wedding. You want to be kind of dressy, and I just like the fit of it and the feel of it. And it's just great. It looks so black. Like, I just can't get over how black it looks, but I promise you... It is blue. So yeah, I thought I'd try it on and show you what it looks like. The heavens are after opening right now and it is pouring rain outside. And I am going to my nail appointment in like 10 minutes. <laughs> so I need a hoodie or something to keep that rain off me. It's gone so dark. Like, look how dark it is. Because it started raining and it's super dark. Like, I actually can't deal with it. All the boxes that are there from our wardrobes. How should I go into the cold and the wet and the rain? <laughs> Okay, so I'm just having my Costa Nehazen up praline, that's the one. And um, it's actually so nice today. Some days I get ones and they're not great, but this one's particularly nice. I'm wearing really bad shoes today. I'm wearing flats, stupidly, because I didn't realize that it was this wet out and I should have known better. And I have no socks on because I'm getting my toes manicured. And I thought that if I wore socks, it would kind of scuff them, so. That's where we're at now. I'm just gonna enjoy this in the rain. Hey guys, so I'm home. I got my nails dirt and this is what they look like. They are square and short and they're grey and silver. If the camera would focus on it, this would just be epic. Here, you got an up close for you. That's what they look like. I love them. I'm super happy with them. I got marble on one finger and then grey on the rest. And then these two are silver glitter and so are my pinkies. I've got the big dirty coat on my finger. At least it knitted together a bit better. It's still very sore and swollen. Went into deals actually and I picked this up. Look how cute this is. Isn't that so cute? It's a little light up heart. It was only three euro. I really like it. So I'm gonna hang this somewhere. Where? I don't know because there's lots of hearts in here. I said I wasn't gonna buy any more hearts but like how could you resist that? It's like mercury a mercury heart lamp. Oh guys, look how cute it is. I just hung it up there. It's the cutest heart ever. The one thing that's disappointing me about it is the battery pack obviously has to hang out in the back and it just kind of makes the whole thing look really ugly because like it's hanging out there in the back. So I'm gonna have to maybe find a new home for it because it's just weighing it down over there. The big battery pack and see the way it's like not swinging properly like it's supposed to obviously like be like this and it's kind of like leaning back because of the weight of the battery pack sorting out my jammies and putting them all away but guys look how cute these jammies are that i bought the other day in pennies and they were only a fiver like a fiver they were originally if this will focus 12 euro and they're only a fiver now they are the cutest things ever it says coffee is like a hug in a mug and then they've little gray bottoms and they are elasticated at the bottom or tight at the bottom aren't they just so cute putting away all my jammies into my new drawers they're going to go all down here and um, this top one here is going to be for day tops because i have lots of day tops and then the rest of the drawers are all like for jumpers and then like these are leggings and jeans this is a bit disorganized i just threw everything in there and then i don't know what to put in the last two i will fill them up no problem and then currently i'm just kind of like hanging things in here as i go along because i have like my coat rack i have my coat rack over here which is a nightmare mess at the moment as well and then all the clothes at the bottom because I have nowhere to put them obviously because I was waiting for the new wardrobe. So they're going in. This is all my underwear and has like bras and 
all other stuff there and that's gonna go this way so I'm gonna be turning it and then this was John's so I think what we're gonna do is probably get rid of that because we may not need it anymore who knows his wardrobe is going over here beside mine so that's what we're currently at we're making the wardrobes it's so fun so at the moment our bedroom is like a bomb went off in it and to be honest I like just closed the door like when people come over because obviously my bedroom is the first room that they pass and I just close the door over and just like pretend that whatever's going on in here is not actually happening because I don't want people to be like oh my god they live like pigs pigs I tell ya so these are all my jammies that I have at the moment that need to go in here so let's put them away Okay, so that's all my jammies put away. Not too bad. Now I need to kind of like sort out the rest of my clothes in here, uh, which is probably gonna be a job for tomorrow, not gonna lie. Or maybe even t like the next day because tomorrow I actually have so much to do. Like I actually have a lot of work to do. And then I need to like do a little bit of self tanner as well because I think I am a little bit on the pale side. So I'm gonna just put on some of the Bondi Sands self tanner yeah so i also need to do a massive cull of pajamas i just realized because when i was at home the other day i didn't notice how many pairs of pajamas that i actually have some that i only wore a few times so i seriously am in need of doing a massive pj cull it's gonna be pretty sad because like most irish girls i'm pretty attached to my pajamas i kind of like don't understand girls that wear jeans around the house i'm like how can you do that like do you not wear your pjs around the house what? Because I have like PJs that I wear, like we'll say, I get up, I'm wearing pajamas, I'll change into another pair and then when I go to bed that night I'll put on the pair I was wearing the night before. Is that really weird? Probably. Yes, I am odd. Right, I'm actually going to go get dressed because I need to go to the gym. <sighs> it's been fun. I'll talk to you guys later when I'm probably in a little bit of pain. I don't know what to do for dinner tonight as well. Sometimes I hate going to the gym because then I have to come home and try and organise dinner. So it'll be something really basic, quick and easy. Something that just refuels me quite rapidly after the gym because that's what we all need. Let's not lie. Hey guys, I'm home from the gym and I just had something to eat there with John now. We had like kind of like a salad-y type thing with like eggs, ham, cheese, some spinach, some baby tomatoes, a couple of different things, a little bit healthier, which I'm actually delighted for them. I didn't, I was gonna like suggest pizza and then I came home and he had that organized. So that's definitely a much better option. Anyway guys, I'm gonna go to bed because like it's much later. I'm back in the gym like a while. Um, it's just getting late now and I'm just going to hop into bed and I think we're gonna watch Game of Thrones in bed because that's just what I'm feeling like. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog mismatch of kind of everything i have no idea what i was even talking about half of the day but what i will do is i will check in with you guys tomorrow there won't be a vlog on saturday because i'm obviously at the wedding i'll talk to you guys tomorrow and get my hair done in the morning i will talk to all of you guys in tomorrow's vlog bye <laughs>